How's it going y'all? This is Ryan De La Garza here with another Desmos component intro video. So in this video, we're going to look at the ordered list component. We'll have to pair it up with a note so we can give our students instructions, but really focusing on how we can use that ordered list. So let's dive in. Here I have my blank screen. I'm going to go ahead, add my note, and I'm going to go ahead and add my ordered list. Now, when I want to do this, I actually want to move my ordered list. So one of the great things that they just uh, updated this year with the Desmos Activity Builder is the ability to put these things in columns and arrange them differently. So I'm going to set my ordered list right over to the right of where my question is going to be. Now let's go grab my question. Here I have uh, a set of problems on a Google Doc. You could pull this from a Google slide, from an activity that you already have. I'm just going to copy this one here. We have a set of numbers and we want to arrange them in order from least to greatest. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to paste that into my note. Now notice I lost my fractions, so I'm going to need to come in and fix this again in my math type. I'm going to highlight it, select my math type option in the bottom left. And then from here, I can do slash two. Now notice that five is up at the top. So I'm going to delete that cursor over. So I'm in front of it and I have five and one half now. So let's do the same thing for these guys here. We're going to do five and one fourth. Now I need to go do this. So this is the trick to doing our mixed numbers. You got to do the fraction first. And then once you have the fraction, then you can cursor over to do the whole number here. So two fifths delete that five and put it right here. Let's do five and three eighths. So I'm going to delete slash eight and then come up and then now five and last one with five and two thirds. So again, math type slash three for our fraction and come in front and five. So now I have these numbers. They look nice in math. Let's put them into my ordered list over here. So five and two thirds, I'm going to control C now my math type control V and there's my paste so this is how I'm going to build my ordered list I'm coming over here highlighting control C add an item math type control V and we're just pasting these over into my ordered list now notice here I can also change what I want it to be I could be hottest coldest uh, least greatest so here I'm gonna put from least to greatest and let's check out how this looks. So now I have my list and I can come in and I can move these around and reorder these as I need to. But there's one other great tip that we can have with this. If I click the three dots, I can use the order I have here as my answer key. So I can come in and I can actually place these in order to start and it's gonna mix them up for me. Uh, and so I have that going there. So let's, let's get these in order real quick. This is going to go here and this is going to go right here, right? Nope, right there. There's my order. So now if I preview this, I can see as soon as I start moving these around and we're going to look at it from the teacher side of things. So if I move this like this, you can see I get a check mark now that I've moved them correctly. If they're incorrect, I have an X and you'll see this on the teacher dashboard. So this is a great way to get a quick shot of where your students are at and how they're doing uh, to see when they have these sorted correctly. So that's been the uh, ordered list component. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and happy Desmosing.